okay folks uh, hello uh, and uh, in the previous videos we uh, created some or uh, written some code for our backend uh, app.py okay which is uh, to load the model and do the predictions so uh, last uh, in the last video i left uh, at this particular place where we completed the code but uh, just deliberately i just wanted uh, to cut short that video till that point because i want to highlight few things here in this video so and i will be completing this particular backend in this video itself so this is the third and last part of uh, completing the backend okay so one thing is uh, for opening this model multiple linear regression pickle file this file needs to be or in order to open and as well as load this model this file needs to be in uh, our directory okay here which is the flask sample app we created a folder and then the template where we have uh, html and predict file then we have our app.py file and in uh, the same location we need to keep the multiple regression model.pickle file which is a saved model right we need to come put that model here and we have already saved this model in the previous videos we have developed this model and saved it so now we need to keep that uh, file or move that file into this particular directory okay and next thing is i was talking about that you know passing this value right the model prediction value correct so we create so while while uh, calling this particular predict.html file what we can do is we can pass the variable value from this file or this code to that web page okay how can we do it we can create a uh, dictionary or sometimes we create a dictionary sometimes we create another variable inside it where we pass this value the model prediction value here so we created a hypothetical not hypothetical we created a new variable here prediction okay and in that prediction model we saved the value model prediction okay so the predicted value out of these values the predicted values of profit is stored in this variable which i'm going to pass it to this page predict.html page so this predict.html page will catch the value of model prediction and this variable will be called will be called in this predict.html file i will show you how will i do it okay in the next upcoming videos okay and another thing which i want to highlight is uh, so right now what i'm doing is i'm just opening and loading this model here in this try statement but this is uh, how we can do this uh, but the one thing uh, which will happen is whenever you um, call this app.py file, file or refresh it again and again, this model will uh, be called with that refresh call. Okay, so in order or this model will be loaded again and again, again and again whenever you refresh that web page. So what we can do is um, one way to do it is to to load this model at the start of the or the beginning of the uh, code okay or beginning of uh, in the beginning itself so we will uh, we, what we can do is we can just you know load this model here or you know here in this section we can load this model here load model okay we can include the statement load model statements here and in that way by doing it we are kind of you know improving the performance of this particular app okay because by doing so the app won't be called again and again it will be called only once okay and uh, 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 the performance will be improved significantly in that case so you you can do that kind of you know um, experiments so try doing that experiment and see if uh, uh, that performance uh, increases significantly or not so that is kind of a homework for you uh, 
right so that that was one uh, basically a tip uh, for uh, model improvement model per, imp performance improvement basically okay so with this i'm going to stop uh, this video here now uh, because everything is complete in the back end now uh, what we are going to do is we are going to include the or write the code for these two files home.html and predict.html the home.html will be uh, including the code for form uh, which will accept the values from the user and the predict will uh, provide the final result or the predicted value on the web page so guys this is it uh, for this video uh, i will be uh, covering the next topics in the next upcoming videos so keep on watching thank you